welcome to my channel biotube by csb like share comment subscribe click on the bell icon welcome to my class this is chandrasekhar bhimoji today we are going to discuss about next phylum is what mollusca what about mollusca actually mollusca nothing but what these are soft bodied animals soft bodied animals mollusca nothing but these are soft bodied animals okay na? so let me explain one by one first point these are aquatic terrestrial and parasitic live in water live on earth or inside the soil parasitic live inside the host body unsegmented body is present unsegmented means there is no any segments segments are absent unsegmented body is present body is covered by shell very very important this one body is covered by shell it is made up of calcareous nothing but calcium carbonate i think so calcareous shell is present you can observe diagram here this is the pila it is covered by calcareous shell body is covered by calcareous shell when you break it you will get the body of organism okay na? body is divided into three portions hadrian <coughs> foot and visceral hump you can observe diagram here on screen also snail hadrian foot and visceral hump this is the snail anterior head showing what ma sensory tentacles mouth has mouth has radula very very important this one radula so what is radula tongue with teeth the tongue with teeth of snail mainly tongue with teeth is present that is structure is called radula it is the characteristic feature of mollusca radula means something but tongue with teeth they are made up of chitin it is made up of chitin with the help of radula which can crush the food diaceous these are diaceous nothing but what sexes are male female sexes are separate okay na unisexual i think oviparous nothing but what they can laying the watama eggs laying the watama eggs <coughs> oviparous laying the eggs development is what indirect development seen which development indirect development seen best example which larva is present trochophore larva is seen which larva trochophore larva is present by the presence of larva it is indirect development let me give the best examples you can observe the screen also best example pila commonly called apple snail pink toad commonly called pearl oysters sepia commonly called cuttle fish loligo commonly called squid octopus commonly called devil fish dentalium commonly called tusk shell suitable example for phylum mollusca is what snail pila globosa you can observe diagram here on screen also this is something general characters of phylum mollusca okay na? thank you so our next topic is what phylum echinodermata what is echinodermata echinodermata means skin echino means spiny spiny skin is present spiny skin is present these are aquatic mainly these are marine animals live in sea water marine animals endoskeleton is present made up of calcareous ossicles ossicles nothing but minute bones they are connected together okay na minute ossicles are present minute and small bones calcareous ossicles endoskeleton is present made up of calcareous ossicles bilateral symmetry exhibited by larva radial symmetry exhibited by adult organism digestive system is well developed complete digestive system is present mouth and anus present mouth is located ventrally 
You can observe diagram here on screen also starfish. Mouth is located ventrally. Back side dorsally we can observe the presence of anus. Water vascular system is present. Water vascular system is present for locomotion, for capturing of food, for transport and respiration. Excretory system is absent. Excretory system is absent in echinodermata. These are also diaceous, nothing but male, female, both are separate, diaceous, unisexual. Development is indirect development. When larva is present, that is echinopluteus larva. By the presence of larva, it is indirect development. Fertilization is what? External fertilization. Fusion of gametes takes place. Water. Takes place in water. So, outside the body. External. Best example. Osterius, commonly called starfish. Echinus, commonly called sea urchin. Antidon, commonly called sea lily. Ophira, commonly called brittle star. You can observe the diagram on screen also. Starfish is a suitable example for phylum echinodermata. Okay, na? thank you very much. Thanks for watching Biotube by CSB. Like, share, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon.